And this is a question that I think that is uh, probably on everyone's lips if you're newly diagnosed. Will all PSE patients require a liver transplant eventually? No. <laughs> and I think this was one of the one of the major problems with PSC, you know, and it, even when you go on Google now, a lot of the literature and the literature has evolved massively. I mean, when I was a registrar in SHO, if I was sitting in front of a PSC patient, I would be having that conversation, which I think a lot of people did when they trained, which was, well, this is a disease of 12 years. You will have a transplant by 12 years. And the problem is the literature was completely full of centers that had written up their patients, but what they forgot is they were transplant centers. They were seeing all the bad PSC disease and therefore their experience, mm. their the rate of progress of patients they were looking after, the good patients were never referred to those centers and they forgot <laughs> to include those. So it wasn't really until we started to get great, if you like, population studies of PSC, which included transplant and non-transplant hospitals, that we started to get a very different flavor of disease. And really, once again, we have to thank um, Cyril in the Netherlands and other places, and we've done the same in the UK, where who really started to describe large hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of patients with PSC, and describe the natural history of them. And in fact, 50% of people are completely well at 21 years in their original Netherlands study that was published a number of years ago now. I think that's the important point. People are yeah. unique with PSC and some mm -hmm. people sadly do progress quickly. Very sadly, some people do get cancer, but not everyone, okay? And that's an important thing to remember, okay? And you know, if you feel well and things are going well, yeah, yeah, please be, you know, yes, like all people that be grateful, but remember not everyone progresses, okay? And, you know, hopefully by speaking to a clinician with your regular assessments, you'll get a feel for how your disease is progressing. But remember, you know, there's lots of patients who are doing well. And I have lots of patients that I looked after many years who are completely well, okay, and have not had a single side effect or symptom from it, mm. and have not progressed their scar tissue. And that's that, coming back to that fundamental question, why do some people progress quickly, some people progress slow, still needs a lot of work.